all clean soft wash here and I'm up on this roof and I wanted to show you this roof in particular because we have three different species of moss. You may not know this but in the northwest there's actually hundreds of different species of moss that grow on here and there's a lot of confusion kind of surrounding them. So I want to show you just three different types that we have growing up here. Uh, if you come in tight around here you can go ahead and see we have uh, this silvery moss right here. Uh, this moss actually appears to be dead but it's not dead. This white appearance right here um, is actually just part of how the moss grows. And the difficult part about it is that it typically is very, very dense and it's resistant to a lot of uh, heavy weathering and it can often take a long time to weather off the roof after it's been killed. The other moss that we have going on is this green moss, which is actually a completely different species of moss, but it too is also very, very dense and has a very tight root system that grows in very deep into the shingles. Uh, this is different than the silver moss, um, but again, it takes a while for it to weather off the roof after it's been killed. The silver moss, you won't really notice it change colors after it's been killed, but this one you will. It will turn a whitish, uh, yellowish color. And then the final species of moss that's up here that I wanted to show you is uh, what we call leafy moss. And this leafy moss right here, uh, it is just that. It is very, very leafy. Um, and this has a, a lot lighter of a root system. It weathers off the roof very, very easily, uh, very quickly off the roof, and it also just turns a really, really bright white color once it dies. So that's why with our process, uh, we go through and we just broom off the bulk of the moss, and everything that's here, the nice thing is, with the soft wash solution that we use, it kills 100% of it all the way down to the roots, and this will just weather off on its own, and it'll weather off uh, over the course of about three to six months, which considering the fact it took years to get the moss this bad is really not all that long of a time period. It's a long-term solution to a long-term problem. And because we're killing it and treating it this way, the roof will actually stay cleaner for longer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep brooming this. Okay, so we've broomed this uh, roof of all the moss that's growing on here. You can see we didn't get 100% of it off and we don't want to. If we were to be that aggressive, it would be very bad for the roof. You can see we have little small pieces that are actually stuck right here in the very, very middle. These root systems are dug in so much that trying to get those off of there <clears throat> would take so many of the granules with it. Our method that we did, it's kept all the granules intact. Up along the edges, they're still nice and intact. Uh, up along these little edges, they're all nice and intact. And then places like this where the moss is growing, our liquid solution is gonna soak in there and kill it completely down to its roots so that it can weather off. So that's our standard process. And up next, I'll show you how we soft wash this roof and what the moss looks like after we've uh, treated it with the soft wash solution. The reason why we can't remove all the moss at the time of service is we can easily easily void the roof warranty. You know, here you're looking at about a $15,000 roof, and it would be such a shame for just for the purpose of getting that instant removal of the moss, you voided this 30-year warranty on this roof. And so any amount of brushing to be able to remove all the moss, especially this denser shrub moss on here, any amount of brushing that it takes to remove that removes so much of the granules that it causes damages that look like this. And you can see in these photos, the edges of the shingles have been completely frayed off because other companies have come in with wire metal brushes to brush off the, the moss. Because it's really the only thing that'll actually remove the moss is these wire metal brushes. And it just does so much damage. Here I'm at Home Depot and I am in the grill section right here, the barbecue grill section. Also known for a lot of roofing contractors and cleaning contractors as the roof cleaning tool section, believe it or not. See all these brushes, these wire bristle brushes, brushes like this? These are actually used by so many roofing contractors to remove moss off of the roof. All the granules and you know the, on the asphalt shingle roof, when you use a tool like this, you remove so much of those granules that the roof warranty is actually instantly voided. So you wanna make sure that you're using the right tools for the right job. Not something to clean your grill, and your barbecue. Check out this video. I mean, this is someone that's up on a roof and they're with a wire bristle brush. They're just causing all kinds of damage, instantly voiding this roof warranty. 
so it's grill season if you come to Home Depot and you buy one of these tools here don't use it on your roof use it on your grill You know, moss takes years to start accumulating and growing up on the roof. It takes some time to also have it die and weather off on its own in a way that's safe and effective. And that's specifically the reason why asphalt roofing manufacturers call out to use specific solutions and not to pressure wash or do manual you know, brushing and scrubbing techniques that will remove a lot of, and dislodge those uh, granules on the roof. So um, it's something to keep in mind whenever you hire a uh, roof cleaning company to make sure that you're using someone who's experienced and knowledge in removing moss.